What's up guys? Uh, today I'm at East Rim's trail and I'm about to drop into Goat Loop. So I'm dropping in with the intention of hitting all the lines I want to hit and riding the trail as fast and as flowy as I like to. Around this turn, right into this huge rock roller. And then around here, over the rock jump, and another rock jump into this berm. rollers dive through this jump that or just coast it these are some rollers look how close I get to the edge <laughs> this upper flat section here gets a little dull but you just got to try and pump through it and make it happen and it just immediately spits you right back out into the valley it's so much fun Whoa, little buddy, you don't want to be roadkill. This table through this tree always scares me a little bit. I just drop here and the turn. Through these meadows here, it's really nice. It's just I wish the highway was quieter. Riding so bad today. Little rider commentary there from past Jeremy saying he's riding bad. I don't think I was riding bad. What it really came down to is that I've been used to riding my hardtail, and you don't get the dampened feel from the back end of the bikes. You feel every bump, you feel every roller, everything going through the bike frame into your feet. Gets you way more in tune with like the trail feel. On a full suspension, you have it a little bit, it's just a lot more foreign feeling after been on a hardtail for so long. This upper section here, you gotta climb up a little bit, it flattens out. I'm actually working pretty hard to maintain this level of speed. That little wall right there is so much fun. Up and around here, it's so fast and fun. It's like you're flying. We're gonna speed things up for a moment here because this part is really slow and boring. And once you get up to the top right here, it sends you down into a jump line you kinda gotta work for a little bit. Gotta work for these couple jumps here, but they're so worth it. Got this first one, then this one, you have to do a whip. These for uh, Steve's points, that is. setting up very poorly for this next jump. I'm gonna send it back real heavy into this berm. See, I nearly go over this berm here. <laughs> But with the composure regained, we're going to set up to go to the final so descent the into the river. And this is really seriously fast, and some of the tables hops are like angled, and you'll see. Climb out of here is brutal. 
At least for me. If I'm tired, there's no way in heck I'm making it up this. Yeah, I'm tired. Alright, next clip. So the next moment here comes after you cross this bridge. It shoots you straight into this quick downhill into a pine forest. It's so beautiful and smells a particular way. What can I say? You just kind of have to be there, you know. Tight squeeze coming up. Once you get around this bend, there's really not much downhill left and you're just climbing back out to do it again. But well, with that climb bagged and loaded, here we go. The feeling of speed you get in this moment is so fun. Working for this part a little bit, but if you exit strong, it's so worth it. After you flow through these two berms and go over this roller, there's a big step up right here. So much fun. Quick meadow pass into the woods again. I always get a little sketchy in this section. You can see I missed that turn pretty bad into the next one, and then I just go a little slow, work for some speed here. But once you come out, you go around this little corner here, and then uh, it slows down tremendously. So we'll go to the next clip. Sprint out of this meadow that you immediately get thrown into this chute. Some alternate lines here. A lot of fun. Fast, fun descent into a hairpin that's blind. Followed by another. But it's actually not a hairpin. It's so misleading. Go down here, then across this bridge and get treated with some really nice valley scenery. Climb out here is pretty grueling and slow, so I'm just going to use this point to say thanks for watching if you made it this far. It means a lot that you would sit through this with me. The voiceover is something new. I've uh, never done this before. Uh, not a public speaker whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, it means a lot. If you can, get out there, walk some trails. If you can ride a bike on some trails, do it. It's so much. It's so worth it. If you've never done anything like this before... I highly recommend it. it. You do not have to go insane mode like I do. If it's your first time, then hey, just get out on a bike and have fun.